Oh, we doing more and more Wonder Woman videos. You know that. So here's another one. How the Wonder Woman trailer converted disinterest into fierce anticipation. This is by Thomas Laffley, and she is a writer for Film School Rejects. And she says that Wonder Woman is about to become a champion of female agency. This is her view, at least. Now, in this article, she talks about seeing the Comic-Con trailer, and that's what actually changed her mind about this movie. She had only Superman, I'm sorry, Spider-Man 2 over a decade ago and got her interest. And she starts to list the reasons why. The first is she sees that this trailer shows Wonder Woman is unabashedly feminist in tone. And she talks, first of all, about... Uh, seeing a superhero trailer that starts with the direct gaze of a female and Wonder Woman says you're a man so she knows this movie is going to be from a woman or female's point of view she also talks about uh, the fact that this is a matriarchal film or a film from a mother's point of view uh, Queen Hippolyta is Diana's mother and she professes a love to her as well as the fact that she doesn't have a father she was created by Zeus uh, the person then talks about uh, how Diana is strong Steve Trevor tells her that she, he can't let her go you know, battle whoever she's supposed to battle. And she says, what I do is not up to you. And then we see how she identifies the, uh, the sort of bondage of Etta Candy, who's Steve Trevor's secretary. When he says, she asks what the secretary is, and Etta Candy says, I go where he tells me to go, I do what he tells me to do. And Diana says, where I come from, that's called slavery. So this person actually likes the sort of feminist and female agency in the movie. She also talks about the costume of Wonder Woman, and she's really impressed with it. She's impressed that one, the beautiful blue gown that she had hit a sword in its back and um, that seemed to be empowering to her and then even her battle looks do not convey objectified sexuality but unapologetic authority and when you see her fighting you really see that so um, this woman was bought into this film because of those things and that was from the very first trailer and I think from then till now I, I believe she will be pretty much sold <laughs> on Wonder Woman. I think a lot of women are going to actually be happy with this film because for a very long time a lot of women have been told what they should do uh, what their limits were what they should wear, um, as if they're hinged on men and they're just there to sort of endorse men. While this year is totally different to that, of course, um, a lot of women would be very happy to see a, rep a representation of a woman on the screen in which she's not just a romantic love interest, she's not just a sidekick. Uh, she's not just trying to be a tough person, but not really translating into that so that you really never see the true power of the woman. You see more of a struggle of a woman to say that they have the same sorts of power as a man. In this film, that won't be the case. And the trailers really show that. Another thing that Patty Jenkins says is so correct is this is not a female-led superhero movie. This is just a superhero movie, period. 
and we're looking at them as correctives. In true feminist style, Patty Jenkins is saying that, and just like how some people say, you're very beautiful for a black woman, or you're very uh, polite for a black person, that's being discriminatory. You're giving a compliment, but taking it back by saying, for a black person. It's just, you are very polite, and leave it that way. And similarly, Patty Jenkins is using the, 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 the principles of omission to say, this is going to be a good superhero movie. It's not going to be a female, good female-led superhero. It's going to be a good superhero movie. So that it shows equality. It shows that this is not something where we are trying to uh, strive to be as, but it is going to be what it is. And it just so happens that the people who are involved um, are women, you know. So I like how Patty Jenkins takes it that next level where it, it, the merits of it is not based on the gender of the person. The merits of it is based on its merits. So I think Patty Jenkins, like I said, to me, the real Wonder Woman in this whole thing is going to be Patty Jenkins. This is going to be her vision. She was aided by Zack Snyder in terms of action. But in terms of story and where she wanted to go and the direction she wanted to move in, this was all Patty Jenkins. And so I'm really looking forward to this movie. Um, I think it's going to, if done right, uh, influence a lot of people and the world at large. Because the world has come so far from these archaic, masochistic kind of ideologies racist and sexist ideologies that I am happy and I will definitely appreciate this film for what it does in the cinema and I think a lot of people are going to appreciate it if done correctly if it's not done correctly it won't really matter It'll just be another contentious film but if it is done correctly and again this is not up to the critics this is going to be up to the audience if it's done correctly this will be something that children can watch. And how do you effect change if not through the younger generation? That's how you effect change. So I think this film is going to going to do that. But we have to see the film first. So as much as I think that, really, the more important thing is that it actually happens. You guys have a great one.